Hi! In this video, we'll be looking at Half-Life. Half-Life is a property of radioactive isotopes. It is the time it takes for half of the radioactive nuclei in a sample to decay. An alternative definition is the time it takes for the activity or count rate of a sample to decrease by half. These blue circles on the right represent a sample of radioactive parent nuclei. After one half-life passes, half of these have decayed to the daughter nucleus. After another half-life passes, half of the remaining parent nuclei decay again, and so on. The half-life of a particular radioactive isotope is independent of the sample size. This is caused by the random nature of radioactive decay. Changes in the activity of a sample over time can be plotted on a graph. These graphs can tell us the half-life of a sample. The y-axis of these graphs may show the number of radioactive nuclei or the activity of the source in counts per second. Here, 8,000 nuclei have halved to 4,000 over four years. This means the half-life of the source is four years. Remember, half-life is independent of sample size. So it will take another four years for those 4,000 nuclei to drop to 2,000. If asked to draw one of these graphs in an exam, make sure your line approaches the x-axis, but never touches it. OK, let's take a look at a worked example. This is a common half-life question in exams. A very old sample of wood contains 1.0 times 10 to the 8 carbon-14 atoms. When the sample was new, it contained 8.0 times 10 to the 8 carbon-14 atoms. The half-life of carbon-14 is 5,700 years, and we are asked to estimate the age of the sample of wood. It's always a good idea to list or highlight the important information in the question. We start off with 8.0 times 10 to the 8 carbon-14 nuclei. We end up with 1.0 times 10 to the 8. Carbon-14's half-life is 5,700 years, and the command word is estimate. This question is worth three marks. We want to start off by finding out how many times we need to halve our initial number of nuclei to reach our final number. So, first we halve 8.0 times 10 to the 8, giving us 4.0 times 10 to the 8. This is not our final number of nuclei, so we halve again. This is still not our final number of nuclei, so let's halve one more time. Now we've reached our final number of active nuclei from the question, 1.0 times 10 to the 8. We have halved the number of carbon-14 atoms three times. This means that three half-lives have passed, which is the first mark. Next, we need to calculate how long this has taken. This is a nice, simple calculation. If three half-lives have passed since the sample was new, its age must be three times the half-life of carbon-14. And the final mark is for writing the answer with the correct units. That's 17,100 years. With questions like these, a common error is to think that eight half-lives have passed because that's how many times the final number of nuclei fits in the initial number but you need to remember that we are halving the number of nuclei each time. The clue is in the name, half-life. Another common type of half-life exam question involves graphs. Here, we are asked to use the graph to determine the half-life of the source for two marks. We'll start off by finding half of the initial activity. A0 is six squares up the y-axis, so A0 over two will be three squares up the y-axis. We then need to use the graph to read the time at which activity reaches half its initial value. We've already gained a mark. This is for drawing a pair of lines on the graph. Remember, you are asked to use the graph, so make sure you annotate it. Next, we read the time on the x-axis and determine the time taken for the activity to half, which is 7.5 years. This is the definition of half-life, so we can now say that the half-life is 7.5 years for the second mark. Stopping here in your exam would be unwise when we can do the same thing again to double check our first answer. Halve the activity again 
and read the time taken to go from A0 over 2, A0 over 4 using the graph. This is also 7.5 years, confirming our answer. That's two guaranteed marks in your exam. To summarize this video, our definition of half-life is the time taken for half the active nuclei in a sample to decay. Half-life graphs show how the number of active nuclei changes, and we can use them to determine the half-life of a sample. Don't forget to check out all our other fantastic revision resources at Save My Exams.